Hi guys, I finally got to the tutorial ready. So today I'll be showing you the tutorial for this awesome hello YouTube sign. Um, if, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on exactly how I built it because I have to keep looking back. But if, in case you want to build it exactly how I did for some reason, I will go ahead and fly over here and fly across the back so you can see it. Okay, so I'm going to be building this on the other side of my redstone tutorial call. And so, I guess we'll get a bit of a sneak peek on the rest of my redstone just in It doesn't look that big, but there's quite a few cool contraptions on it. So I'm going to be building my little rows up here, like maybe here. Yeah, I'd say about here. -ish. So you're going to need a block of choice. I'm using a block of iron because that's one of my favorite blocks. And then build up however high you want to. I think I'm going to go for 15. Then destroy those blocks you use to tower up. You don't have to yet if you don't want to, but you can. And then this is going to sound huge, but you need a 66 by 7 block. Or block. Box. So, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so there's my 66 um, long strip. Then you need to get seven blocks high. So two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, seven. Then make sure you have five blocks in the middle, like you should. And then do another 66 blocks on the top to create the box. Sixty-six blocks is a lot. I would not recommend using iron blocks in survival unless you have a humongous iron farm. Which I'm sure most people don't. But I guess most people probably aren't going to build this in survival either. So then go ahead and build up seven on this. And then fill the whole thing in with just normal redstone lamps. Or actually, it's easier to do the letter. So how I did it was, here's the H, you build up to the top, um, you go across in the middle by two, then you build up again, so there's your H, then an E, I did a capital E, you could turn it into a lower case if you wanted to, but what I did was I built up like that and then I went out three like that and three in the middle and three on the bottom and then for the L's you go up to the top and then out two and then do that again since there's two L's And then for the O, you don't have to do it like this, but I was 
trying to kind of go with how Minecraft writes. So, you put two on the bottom there. I'll make sure it's spaced in the way from the L. And then you put a block up like that. And then you do that three blocks high. Put a, another two section like so. And then build your three here. Then it doesn't matter how much space you put, but I put a three block space in between the two blocks. So one, two, three. And then the base of the next one starts two more over, so right there. So then you build up three. And then you go out diagonally to like so. Then there's the Y in YouTube. Then we have to do an O again to come down from here. And make sure you you go for the space. Unless you want to do it differently, but I mean, you would want to do it any differently than that. Right? So, like that. And then for the U, I wasn't really sure how to do it, so I typed it on the sign and figured out how it was done in my group. And it's done like this. So, you have three here on the bottom. Then you go up one diagonally. And then you go up to the top, like so. And then on this side, you don't do it directly, you just do it like that. So it looks like that. Then the key, you go over three blocks. And then you build up the top and extend out two blocks. And then there's another U. Come a block over from here. And then you put your blocks. Hold on. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. Let's see. So there's a T there, and then there's a U. So that would then go there, through there. And build that up to the top again. Then come there and build it up to the top. Make sure you don't go diagonal. Diagonal. Unless you want it to look kind of weird. Then you start your T right there. You block some hard. Or, sorry, not T. T. I don't know what I'm thinking. I guess I'm looking at the wrong view. Then you build your B up like that, we a gap right there. And then you put two blocks right there. And then another two blocks right here, diagonally like so. And then two more blocks right there. Create your B. And then for your E. You go over two blocks from that, and you place in four. And then you put, place one in diagonally like that, like that three. And then on the top, you place in three again. And then coming down diagonally, you place two. then post them straight across to there. And well, uh, that looks pretty good when you go back out here. Oh, I made mine one look too long. So either I counted the other one wrong, you only need 65, or I counted wrong when I built this. Okay, so then, this is gonna take a little while, so I'll just show you how to do it and then time lapse through it or cut it out or something. So you just place blocks on all of those the back pictures that stone lamps. Like so. And then I will start recording again when I'm done with that.
Okay, I'm back. Finally done with that. So now, if you want to, you can go ahead and place in all of your redstone lamps. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to start working on the redstone. So, one of the most important techniques is repeaters. You can't put redstone dust right next to the um, redstone lamps. Well, you can on the first layer, because as long as it's not pointing towards the it won't power it. But up here, um, if you were to put redstone dust on this block, it would power this block, powering the redstone lamp that would be up there. But repeaters don't power the block on you. So you can simply use repeaters. So, so I'll just carry mine along the bottom as far as I can, which isn't terribly far. And in places like this, you'll want to use redstone dust to, because that will not power the redstone lamps as long as it's in lines like that. And then also to power that, you'll have to do something. Um, hold on. What did I do wrong? No, this is not it. Okay, so you're gonna place the block blocks like this. We'll have to use repeaters on here. Because if you were to put redstone dust and have that have that power, that would then power the block, which would power this redstone lamp that'll be right here. But repeaters, however, do not power the block. They will power the block that runs into to that one, which is what we want, because that'll then turn on the one redstone lamp there. Power, starting to power the hose. So we're just going to use that to go across here and create basically a super long repeater line powering some of the lamps. That's the lamps. And then, when I'm done with that, I'll, come, I'll be back. So, I finished. And then I also placed these levers down here so that I could see what was and wasn't powered. And one thing I think I forgot to mention in the previous clip was if there's a redstone lamp on like one of these blocks that you're placing your repeaters on, you actually want redstone as long as it's not in a dot. Because if it's in a dot, well, if it's in a dot and it's powered, so like that, then if you place a redstone lamp right there, that's going to be powered. But if it's in a line, then it's not going to be. But that will then power that block, power that redstone line. So this is what I ended up with. You could do it differently if you wanted to. But this is how I got it. It does look kind of complicated. So then the next thing we're gonna be doing is, you're gonna come over here and, well, one thing we need to do is tie all of these together somehow, but we'll leave that for later. So what we're gonna need to do is any block that's not already powered, so like this one here for example, um, if it's supposed to be powered, which in this case it is, because there's redstone lamp on the other side of it, you need to uh, either run a redstone line straight into it, you can't just have it like going off to the side. I think the dot will work, let me just test it. Yeah. That works fine. And then, so it has to be a dot, but, well, it can't be going straight across like that. Otherwise it won't power. So then you can also have a repeater going into it. So either a um, piece of redstone dust, or a line of redstone dust going that way, or a repeater but not a redstone line like that because that won't work and so i'll come back once that's done okay i'm back done with that i did change something up at the very end but oh well 
And then, this one doesn't look quite as complex as the other as the other one, because I know what I'm doing a little better now. So I'll just fly by it, and you can see how it looks. And if there's any, like, lag, I'm sorry about that. It's because of how I'm recording my videos. And I should have an Ethernet cable. If I get that, then I it'll be better. I'll get that soon. So where I made the change to the repeaters in here was, I think it was right around here. I just added a few. I think I added some right here and one right there. Then I also ran redstone up here to power those three. But now it's all powered, as you can see. So now we're just about done. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fill in all of this with, the red, with redstone lamps. Then if any of them get powered, you're going to need to figure out what's powering them. Unpower them. So I'll be back once I'm done with that. Okay, I am back. So there it is. Now, about all we really need to do is create the input. Although, first, let's try and wire all of these things together. Um, what am I gonna do for that? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this by a couple of blocks and do the same on the other side. And destroy all of these. Then, that there, let's do it on it, and then put a block there, and put a half slab here, and now that doesn't really help me, and there, um, and see if that looks crazy, yeah that does look crazy. Let's go look at how I did it on my other side. So I think to create this input, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to do something. Got that? Good. Yeah. Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do that. Then I'm going to use some half slabs to connect them. pretty bad with half slopes, so I don't use them much in my builds, honestly. So there's that much. There's all of that. And then maybe try that. Oh. Oops. that all works. And I'll just go ahead and test it by placing all that right there. Let me see if all of them are to come on. Moment of truth. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build redstone torch tower on um, build redstone torch tower right here. 
to do that there. So then I'm going to dig down two blocks into the ground because I I'm going to because of how I'm designing my end code basically. And then if you don't know how to do a redstone torch tower, what you do is you place down a block, and a redstone torch on top of it, and a block on that redstone torch, and a redstone torch on that block, and keep going however how you're going. Why am I used to doing that? So that should turn the entire thing on then. Like it did. Oh no. Got one couple that didn't quite happen. Probably because the signal wasn't quite really strong. Yep. Looks like it's exactly what it was. So I'll just do an extra repeater right now. Now hopefully our whole sign will be on. Looks like it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, dig out and you know, we're gonna figure out where we want our button. Mine is going to be like a little tower like you saw on the last one. Um, no, I need to move that up. I have to wait for some Okay, so then I'm gonna build up maybe 10 inch blocks. There's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think that's good. So then get the button. I'm gonna use stone, but you can use wood if you want. Or you can get a pressure plate if you want to. So then how I'm gonna do my um how I'm gonna get the signal down is I'm gonna kind of curve it around like so. But you can do it however you really want to. And then once we get down here to the bottom, then what you're going to do is you're going to dig down into the ground by two blocks. Start going out towards your sign. Then dig out just a small, maybe like three by three box. That's too deep. Get yourself a, a sticky piston and also a redstone block. And then place your sticky piston down there with the block of redstone. Then um, dig in a dig a small hole in the ground, a one block hole there. Put a sticky piston in there and a block of iron. And then put a redstone repeater. And I'm gonna make my box a little wider. Then run it into the back of that piston. And I could make this more compact, but I'm not going to right now. So then, if you give that an input, make sure there's a repeater on there. Give that an input that then moves where the block is. So, if we have our redstone dust right here and we press that, but now it's powered. Now it's not. Well, then I'm gonna replace that with sandstone that way it doesn't hook out of the ground as an iron block. Stick out, I should say. So now you're gonna um, put redstone on there and you're gonna dig a trench all the way over to the redstone torch tower and fill it with redstone and repeaters and everything. So I'll come back when I'm done with that. Okay, I'm back. So you can go ahead and cover that up, which I already did. And then you can also put a sandstone half slab right there. So that way that block's covered up. Although make sure where that monostable circuit is, which is the one with the sticky piston and block of whatever, is has a block right here, or you put it down a little farther. That way it doesn't push it up out of the ground and make it look weird. 
So then, now we all have, now all we have to do is add in the fireworks. So let's go ahead and do that. So for over here, well first of all let me get rid of this big wonky thingy. And then, so to build the firework thing, you're going to need a dispenser. Um, some redstone, hoppers, block of your choice, a redstone torch, a repeater, and you're going to need fireworks, of course, although I'm not going to get to those right yet. And you're also going to need an item. I'll just use whatever I, I want to. I don't know. So anyways, you can attach these wherever, but I'm going to attach them right here. So you're going to want to build off one of your redstone things. Then you put a repeater into a block with a redstone torch on it. And so it should be powered, unless you have your sign on. And then come a block out. Do that, um, build a block up with that. Sorry about the leg. Um, and then create a hopper clock by putting that hopper into there. Or, no, sorry. Put that hopper there, that one into that one, and that one into that one. So now if we chuck an item in there, like a repeater, you'll see it's cycling through. But then if we power these hoppers by placing redstone dust on top of them, then it should stop. Whoops. So if we click on that, we see it's stuck in there. Then what you need to do is you need to take a comparator output from one of them. So grab yourself a comparator. Put that um, coming out from one of the hoppers. And then you need to put a dispenser. But not I don't know why I did that. But you need to put a dispenser there. And then I don't think that powers it, but it's worth a try, isn't it? Oh, it does. That's interesting. I don't know how that works, but that powers it. Huh. Okay, so anyways, um, I'll do the one down here, and then I'll get back on and show you guys. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I, for the sign, I used the light duration 3 fireworks but you can use whatever type you want. And, um, that should be everything now. So if we stand here on a little pedestal, or whatever you want to call it, got a sign, hit the button, look again. It is a bit slower than the other one because I found more techniques for this one. And so I used quite a few more repeaters. But who cares about how slow it is, it's still cool. And you've got your fireworks. I need a sign that says "Bye, YouTuber." Um. Oh, bye, guys. See you tomorrow. No, hold on. No, you will press the button, Steve. Come on, press the button, Steve. Okay, there we go. Bye. See you guys tomorrow with the survival video. Yay! Are you excited? Because I am. Uh, okay, we'll see you tomorrow.